What's going on, everyone? Data Report here for datareport.info with the Friday, March 3rd, 2023 weather update video. We continue to see a rapidly deepening storm in the midsection of the country. It is now moving into the Tennessee Valley and eventually the Ohio Valley, where portions of Kentucky and Tennessee have an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms today. Let's take a look at the hazards, shall we? There are winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories up for the northeast and portions of the Great Lakes. And you have a large area with uh, wind advisories and high wind warnings, with especially being in uh, Kentucky and Tennessee, where wind gusts up to 70 to 75 miles per hour are expected today. And some guidance even has gusts up to 80 miles per hour just because of how strong this storm is. Taking a look at the... Um, Storm reports from yesterday. Remember, we had a moderate risk day yesterday in Texas, Arkansas, and uh, Oklahoma. As you can see, there's a clustering here of a total reports of 148. There were six tornado reports, 113 wind reports, four of them being high wind reportings, and uh, 29 hail reports. Taking a look at today's outlook, as you can see, there's an enhanced risk from southern Ohio, southern Indiana, through eastern Kentucky into Tennessee, northern Alabama, Georgia, northern Georgia, northwest South Carolina, western North Carolina, and western portions of Virginia, and ever so slightly into West Virginia itself. The biggest threat for today is going to be wind and the potential for a strong tornado. As you can see, the Storm Prediction Center here has a hatched 10% area in Kentucky and Tennessee. This is central portions of Kentucky and Tennessee. So if you live in like around Louisville, Kentucky or Nashville, Tennessee, I would really pay attention today. The 30% wind area is a bit larger within that. You do have a hatched area, so some strong wind damage is possible. Hail is a smaller threat today as this is now an organized area of low pressure. Take a look at our Experimento NATO cast and look what it does here in central or almost western Kentucky, you can see here there is a red area now, and that is 15% chance of a tornado on either side of 25 miles. So that's something we really have to concern ourselves with. Where's the low right now? Well, right now the low is approaching near Paducah, uh, Kentucky, and uh, it's about ready to enter into Kentucky, and it is already down to 982 millibars, and it's continuing to drop. The HER model has been suggesting it would get into the upper 970s. Here's the latest run of the HER model. It's the 15Z run. It just came in, which it's showing pretty well. It shows the low will actually go into uh, Illinois. At that point, two hours from now, it has it down to 978 millibars. You can see we have storms ahead of this. Let's actually change the view to make this easier for you to see. Here we go, north central U.S. And as you can see here, it then goes down to about 976 millibars over portions of Indiana. I'm actually going to change the view again. There we go. That's better. And it goes down to 976, but you can see these storms really get going with this squall line. They really increase in intensity over the next couple hours. So from now until about, say, 4 or 5 o'clock, we really have to watch for the potential for severe weather with this squall line as it progresses eastward. As you can see, there's a secondary little line right near the low. That should be watched as well, because you can sometimes get tornadoes with that type activity. And look here around 20Z. You can see we have some of them are more discreet, broken into supercells. That can get really dangerous for uh, tornadoes. And a couple of these tornadoes, they could be strong or violent. I mean, the setup is there. The instability is starting to move in. The wind shear is there. Now we're around 20Z. 21Z Friday. Now you're moving into uh, eastern Kentucky. So at that point, anytime after 5 p.m., Nashville and Louisville area, you'll probably get the all clear. You might still have some strong northwest winds behind the system. Then it's eastern Kentucky into Tennessee that we have to watch. And as we head into the nighttime hours, the severe weather threat will start to diminish as the storms hit the Appalachian Mountains. But we then watch the snowstorm and winter storm threat in the northeast and also heavy rain threat for eastern Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., New Jersey. I mean, we could be looking at an inch to an inch and a half of rain, maybe locally 
close to two inches of rain. Some models have been getting close to two inches of rain in southeast PA now. And as for the snow aspect in New England, this is a 6 to 12 inch event. Higher elevations could see locally 12 plus in the Green Mountains or in White Mountains. And maybe even up in the Adirondacks, you could get an isolated uh, report or two of 12 plus inches of snow. Going back with this real quickly, as you can see the HER model does have the low bombing out at 975. One last thing I want to show you is here, something that you don't see too often, but I will show it to you. Look at the instability. This is uh, CAPE, which is available energy in the atmosphere. It's already moving into Tennessee. It could move into Kentucky as well. Watch what happens as I advance this. You have 1,000 CAPE. That is more than enough instability with a highly sheared environment to produce the potential for tornadoes. So this is why I'm really concerned. Anytime you have instability coupled with high shear and coupled with such a deep area of low pressure, uh, the tornado threat is heightened. So if you live in these areas, you're going to probably want to uh, stay at home for the next several hours, at least until about 5 to 7 p.m. Because these storms are moving really quickly. They are racing eastward and a tornado could pop up at any given time with any of these cells and the wind damage is going to make it extremely dangerous to be out. Once the squall line passes, it will be safer. Alrighty, that does it for today's weather update video. If you like the content that I do on my channel, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Until next time, and if you live in the tornado threat area, stay safe everyone.